Hello friends, thank you for watching this video. Today I will share more tips about saving money in the Netherlands. All those tips are proven by our family, so please keep watching and share this video with those who are also interested in living in the Netherlands. And the first two tips about traveling and museum card I have already shared in my vlog in Utrecht. Please follow this link if you want more tips about travels in the Netherlands. But today I will focus more on actual saving money here. And my first advice is to use the app Too Good To Go. This app is about saving products for shops and you can buy a set of products for less price than they are normally in the shops. Why they sell them? Because their expired date finishes. For example, this products expire tomorrow or even today and they have to sell them as fast as possible. So they include them in this offer. What you need to do is to download this app, then choose the appropriate location, choose the diet you are following, and then you just pick up the box. By the way, in the previous vlog last week, we did such an experiment, we did it for the first time and we showed what we had in our magic box. And we got that box for five euros only. And there were some vegetables, there were some cabbages, I remember, there were yogurts, there were milk, and there were vegan nuggets. So that's all this set is, I think, for 15 euros. So that's something you can try to, and at least something you can cook from this. My second advice is also about products and shops, and this is the Albert Hein application. And also, this is something which was very surprising for me, and the thing is that you can invest with this app the thing is that with every 49 euros, as I remember, which you spend in the shop uh, for your casual shopping, you get 54, I think, or 53 euros. So you can invest with them. So your money are uh, rising a bit uh, in this app. It's not an investment which requires from you, I don't know, time and some knowledge. You just buy products and your account is rising. And what you can do with those money is that you can get them in cash from the shop when you need. For example, now we have there about 200 euros, which we collected for six or seven months. And now we can go to the shop and get this money in cash, which is super convenient in case when you need just some cash, you can really do it. I know guys, some of you will probably tell me that, hey Marina, Albert Hein is very expensive, but well, I can say that I can tell a very big difference be between Albert Hein and other shops. We also have Deca around our house and Walmart, but we do really go to Albert Hein quite often because they have a lot of products where eat a lot of products we like in our diet. As you know, we have two diets in our family because Olivia and I, we are allergic to many products. So for example, we don't eat milk, uh, cow milk and uh, dairy products, but Dima and Ava don't have this allergy and they eat them. So we have different yogurts, we have different type of cheese and yeah, and we have different types of bread because we are not tolerant to gluten, but Dima and Ava are okay with gluten. So in order to buy all this set, which is common for our family, we do, we really go to Albert Heim because they have it all. And also they have the bonus program, but bonus is simple. You just need the Albert Heim membership card. And when you see that there is bonus with the project, it means that you will pay with this card and then it will and then the product will be sold with a discount for you. But if you don't have this card, the product will be sold at its normal price. So I think it's something interesting to try to download this Albert Hein app and try to save some money there, actually to invest some money there. Uh, the rate at which they are rising, it's a good investment act actually. And also it's very safe investment. You don't you you will not lose anything but it's 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 really interesting thing to try and if you have tried it already please write the comment below what you are thinking about it the point number 3 is buy and sell groups i believe that in every country there are buy and sell groups and 
Oh, there are also expert buy and sell groups in Dutch, obviously in English, of course. And in those buy and sell groups, sometimes you can really find some good items. Uh, I don't know, a good table, which was a present, but people don't use it and want to sell it. And it really helps at the beginning, especially when you move in to an empty house or an empty flat, or you are renovating and uh, things are changing. And the biggest website and application with the used items is Vinted. I used Vinted a lot in Poland, and I think I sold a lot of stuff and I bought some things there especially for children as we moved many times especially when kids just grow up and some things are not used some things in a really good condition and we also bought a lot of things there and it's not only about clothes you can buy on vintage also toys and some useful stuff for your children and yourself and also on Vinted you can buy things in new condition. Uh, in, they, they can be new, like, I don't know, shoes which uh, didn't fit and the person just sells the shoes, I don't know, three times less than the person bought these shoes. It's a really good place to use and it's a really good way to save your money. And the point number five is also about shopping, but in this case I will not talk about secondhand items, but new items, and I'm talking about Amazon websites. Well, the thing is that on Amazon.nl or in German Amazon, Amazon D -E -D, yeah, you can buy sometimes things cheaper then you can see them on bold.com, for example, or in other shops here. We bought our lamps for the whole house, we bought the chairs on German Amazon, and they were way cheaper than the same items on bold.com and other internet shops and uh, physical shops in the Netherlands. And also it can happen that the same things on German Amazon are cheaper than in Dutch Amazon. The point number six is about cashback website. I also use a couple of cashback websites. They are here. And on those, on those cashback websites, of course, you can't get cashback from any any website on the internet. For example, you can't get cashback, I don't know, from IKEA, let's say, or H&M, but those shops have their inside bonus programs. But for example, for booking, uh, when you book your travels, or for the shop natino.nl where I often buy cosmetics and I have a very special list of cosmetics for our family. I can get the cash back and so I, I pay exactly the same money on these websites but I also can get a little refund, let's say it's kind of a refund from those websites to, to the cabinet on the cash back website and then I just transfer this money directly to my bank account. And just for a very simple example, we are getting ready for our vacation and we are going to pay for our hotel 1,700 euros and I will get the cash back from this money when they will be paid to the hotel and the cash back will be around 50 euros. So how cool is that? The point number seven is about parking in big cities and especially parking in Amsterdam. So if you need to go by car to Amsterdam, which often happens to us and when we go for example for walk to Amsterdam we prefer to go by car but we never park in the city center because the parking there is very expensive what we do is we go to some parking places which are you know in the suburban areas in the city and they are way cheaper and then we just take the public transportation and it will be way cheaper than you park right in the center and it's not even a question of time because it's very hard to drive in the center of Amsterdam and you can drive a lot and not having any places to park and then pay a lot for a parking place. It's better to park somewhere far from the city center but then take a tram and the trams are very fast here or to take a subway and just to be in the center in 15 minutes. And the last but not the least advice for today is to revise your health insurance program. And again, as everything I'm sharing here, guys, is everything from our experience. Today we just were checking, you know, our spendings for the month and we found out that we are paying today more for our health insurance that we were planning to pay than we paid for the whole year because everything is rising the 
prices are rising and, and health insurance programs are also changing for more expensive and uh, well the thing is that we chose this we chose our plan at the very beginning, right after relocation to the Netherlands, and we were not quite sure uh, about what plan to choose, uh, which plan to pick up, and we, everything was very new for us. But now we know what we really need, and we can change our insurance plan for the one we need, and not to pay unnecessary money. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video will help you to plan your budget wisely in the Netherlands and also some of these tips are applicable in other European countries. Please write your opinion below. Maybe there are more hacks on how to save money here. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.